Hi everyone, welcome to tip nine of our top 12 interactive tips for using Link's whiteboard and you know, making some really great presentations for children to enjoy. This one is all about the Lynx screen recorder. So it's a bit of a cheat because it's actually a totally separate app to Lynx whiteboard. And you don't have to use it with Lynx whiteboard, you can use it with whatever you're doing on your device. But first of all, I'm gonna show you where you can get this really great app from. So I'm on linkscloud.app, which is the website where you manage your Lynx whiteboard account. And there's an area called more downloads. Now, if I scroll down, hidden away is another area called More Downloads. An additional downloads area pops up, and here you can see the Lynx screen recorder. And you can download it for Windows devices, MacBooks as well, and you can also get it for Android devices that use uh, Linux, as well as um, an Android download too. Um, so when you download it, I'll show you what it looks like when it opens up. And to do that, we are going to pop to Link's whiteboard. So this is what you see when you activate it. And you can move it around the screen anywhere you like. You can also pin it to the desktop layer so that it's out of sight when you're then recording something. Um, and you can toggle the microphone on or off and it will pick up um, the microphone on your device, or in this case, it's picking up the microphone in the impact screen here. You can close the app and you tap on the big red but button there to start recording. When you are recording, it shows you how long the recording is and you can stop recording by pressing on the, the blue square icon there. Then it will save your recording as an mp4 file and therefore you could put it onto a youtube channel drop it onto your website or even better drop it into a links presentation and that's what i'm going to show you in the second half of this video okay so i've prepared a slide that's going to help children with their handwriting it's all about practicing joining with a bridge and we know that we can join the letters o r v and w with a bridge that flicks across We've got some joins ready here that I'd like the children to practice, but I'm not going to be able to stand over the children while they're practicing their joins all the time, so I'm going to make a video that I can play on a loop. I've got the link screen recorder here ready. It is pinned to the desktop, so when I start to record, it will disappear. I don't want to start recording just yet because obviously I'm talking to you and I want to get into the zone of what I want to explain to the children. So here we are, compose myself. So, the first join is an O to the letter I. So we go across and we start our O, use the bridge to go across and join to the I. We need to make sure that the two letters aren't too close together and the bridge separates them. This is really important on the second join, R to an A, because if we don't do the bridge long enough, you can see that that A is far too close to the R. So I'm going to undo that mistake. And I'm going to go across and come back and do my A. Show you again, R, bridge across, come back to do my A. With the V, finish the V and the bridge this time is gonna sweep down into the E. Again, the V, go across and sweep down into the E. And finally, W, bridge across to the letter I. It's a good way of keeping your letter I a short letter. Keep practicing. Now I'm turning off the video and it's inviting me to save the video somewhere. I can rename it but I'm just gonna save it here in my video section. And now, if I want to get that video onto my slide, all I've got to do is copy and paste it onto the page. 
So now I'm going to go out to my videos area and I'm going to find that recording that I just made that was demonstrating the handwriting and I'm going to right click, copy it, go back to links, right click and paste. It might put it onto the screen rather large but I can resize that and shrink it down. And when I want to play the video, just click play there and it might come on large the first time. So what so I do, the first join is an o to the letter I. you can see there so it's playing those lovely uh, dulcet tones of my voice there. So I'm going to shrink that down again. And this time when I play the video, it won't resize itself, so that's uh, sorted. But also I can select the loop option there so that the video will keep playing in a loop. And we don't have to watch it in this small size. We can also zoom in and watch it um, on the full screen size as well. There we go. And that's how easy it is. Just to finish off, now if we go into presentation mode, you can see that the children would be able to use the pens here so that they can have a go themselves on doing the joins, but also they'd be able to activate the video and, the and have a close-up look as well. This is really important on the one other nice little thing to show you very quickly, if we just come out of uh, presentation mode, is that there is a really handy pen that children can use in here called the rainbow pen. There's also the animated rainbow pen. This is quite nice because when children are doing handwriting on the screen, if they're doing their joins correctly, it will stay the same color. However, if they keep lifting the pen up, it will change the color of the pen each time and showing them where they're not doing their joins correctly maybe. So a really nice handy extra tool.